All right, so to go along with my DIY Thin Line Telecaster Acoustasonic guitar build, I need to make my own pickups for that guitar. Now I'm gonna go with a piezo pickup under the bridge and then one magnetic pickup towards the neck. And I've decided to try out first a deluxe mini humbucker. Now I went probably the easiest way you could go with something like this and just picked up the Stuart McDonald Deluxe Mini Humbucker Kit. So it comes with basically everything you need besides tools and the wire to actually spin the coils up. So this is gonna be pretty straightforward. I think all I have to do is follow their instructions that came with the kit. And it tells you number of windings and step-by-step -step what to do with all of those things. So you can follow me while I follow these and see how this pickup turns out in the end. So the humbucker kit comes with some wire pull pieces, the back plate, your bobbin, spacer, um, magnet, and metal slug. Everything you would need to build the pickup except for the cover and the mounting ring, which those you buy separate because you would have to decide if you want the chrome like I got or nickel, black, um, gold, whatever other colors you would want your pickup to be. So besides that, you're going to need probably some of this paper tape for taping up the pickup. Uh, some of this 42 gauge spool of wire to actually wind the pickup with. And then obviously the tools to put it all together. So a soldering iron and the biggest piece of the puzzle, which is a pickup winder. Now I have a whole video on making this pickup winder. So I suggest you look at that right up here if you haven't seen that video already. But since I made that, I basically made it, did a test pickup, and then it sat right over there for a couple years until I've gotten around to getting back to this hobby here. Since then, I've gone ahead and added another bar from the sewing machine I built this out of with some washers with magnets that can give me a traverse limiter so I don't go too far over the edge of the bobbin and a different mounting plate in order to get the bobbin on there better. The first time I just used double-sided tape, but this way is a little bit easier where I can get it lined up and just put some screws to hold the thing down and take it off a lot easier. So the first thing we need to do is just take our bobbin and some 600 grit sandpaper and just clean up any of those little weird sharp nub sections that come from the mold when they make it because we don't want anything that's gonna catch the wire and potentially break it. Now before I mount this up, I'm just gonna write top on it so I know which way is the top, which way the pickup is wound so that I can keep both bobbins the same when I combine them into the humbucker pickup. All right, so my wire is gonna come off the spool just sitting on the floor there through my homemade tensioner and aimer. So it comes over that bobbin through the clothes pin with some rubber bands on it to set the right tension out of the end of this pen cap. And then it'll go through my traverse limiters around the pickup there. And the end is already held down right there with some electrical tape. And I've gone ahead and done the first three windings there. So the magic number we're after is somewhere in the 4,500 range. So the only thing left to do now is do some winding. Then we'll solder up the black wire to the start and try and tape this whole thing up without breaking anything.
All right, so this pickup has 4,521 turns on it and a DC resistance of 3.31 kilo ohms. The pickup's all taped. I'm gonna go ahead and swing you over here. Here's my crock pot little dipper and this has a pickle jar with some candle wax in it. And I got the pickup mounted on a wire and a chopstick. And we're just gonna dip this right into the melted wax. And leave that for a while until all of the bubbles come out of it. All right, so I just had to do the same thing again for the second pickup. We can see here all wrapped and waxed and potted. This one reads, three point three one eight kilo ohms, and this one is. Three point three zero five. All right, so at this point it says determine the south side of the magnet using a polarity tester and place the magnet on the pull pieces south side up. Now I don't have a polarity tester, but I do have this compass and I can see if I put it right here, it attracts north, right here it attracts south. And that would tell me that this is my south side of the magnet and this is my north side. So south side up. All right, so now comes the fiddly bit of basically Connecting my two whites together and one black to ground, one black to signal wire. And I don't know how well I'm going to be able to film that because I'm probably just going to be getting all up in here. So pretend you watched me solder all this up nice and pretty. All right, so with it all mushed into the case, it's starting to look like a pickup. And before I solder the edges to seal this up so it doesn't come apart, I want to do one last check. And it says 6.7 kilo ohms is my final resistance of this pickup. 